Hey everyone, welcome back to another awesome Flutter tutorial. In this video, we are going to creating an image chatbot by the use of Gemini API key. First, let's try it. How it works? You can easily select the image from here by clicking on select an image. I'll just select the one image and select this image and I'll prompt the message. Can you describe this image and just click on generate answer? It takes some time to generate the response. Here is the complete description of this image. It is totally the same that we have shown is in the image. Let's try on the next image. Initially, the select image button is in there. If you have select the first image, then the select new image button will be appear here. Let's try the another image and I'll choose this image and I'll ask the next message which is which place is this and again generate the answer. You can see this is the tower bridge in the london by this way you can easily interact with uh, image chatbot you can ask any question if you have unable to know the name of this image if you have unable to find out the place if you have una unable to know any image if you have unable to know any animal you can easily find out by the use of this gemini api key the implementation process of this gemini api key is simple i will instruct you the every process let's start the complete video and learn something new let's start start the complete video from here first step that you have required is you need a two package that is http and file picker you know the use of this package we have used file picker to pick the image and we have used http for the api key to fetch data from the internet and after you have successfully add these two packages the next things that you have required is, is the gemini api key i'll provide the link is in the description this is the direct link http.aistudio.google.com slash app slash as api key here i'll just create the one api key by clicking on just create an api key you can easily create your own api key i'll request you not use other api key from here you can just copy this post request we have used the post request first we have from the message is and provide the image then we'll request for the response you can easily create api key and copy this link from here now our process is start the code i'll already prepare the complete code in this video i'll just i'll just instruct you which part of this code work which function how this how this code work and the remaining all first steps after we have successfully added the two package and get the api key your next steps is first just create the text editing controller this is just easy many time you have defined the text editing controller first things next things that you have required is use the final keyword and give the any name and store your api here store your api and just replace this your api key with this exact api key after you have replacing next thing that you have required is first step what to do we have first pick the image from the gallery and this is just a simple process this function i'll just copy this function from um, this file picker here you can copy it and i'll use the future keyboard and give the name pick image file picker dot platform and after you have picked the image if result is not null if you have picked the image if you have picked any image then update the state initially it is the blank screen with select an image if you have just select the image just like this then update the state and show the image this is the function of this set state update the state with an selected image and after you have select the image next thing that we have required is send an image and from to the api and fetching a response and you have see this button initially this button is not there if you have select the first image then there is no any process to select the next image that's why after you have select the first image this button will be generated here is the function to generate this image if generate response if there is no image is selected then select the image text will be display if any image is select then show the button select image select the new image inside this set state what i have set is initially loader is true when you click on the generate image icon and we have terminate this if the response as coming from the api initially we have set is true and we make it false after the response here from controller dot clear after 
if you have click on the generate answer button the prompt will be clear and response message initially the response message will be empty you can see any response message here this is the string response message indicate if the app is waiting for the api response initially there is no any response after that inside this try cache we have create a request play load host the server require a data to be sent in the specific format text plus image for it to process your request properly when you send the data to the server like an api you need to organize the data into a specific structure the server can understand this structure is called the payload the this structure can itself specify by the gemini api key here the structure contain part text this is the format that i have followed after that we have convert the image to base 64 what is the mean what is the base 64 base 64 is the way to encode binary data like an image into a string made of a readable character like letter number etc computer store an image in a binary data long sequence of one and zero however when we send the data over the internet it is easier and safer to use a format this is the format that we have sent the request and after after we have post the request we use the base 64 format and it's convert into a 0 and 1 computer only understand the machine language in short server and api key didn't understand the raw binary image data but they can handle base 64 encoded data that's why we have convert our image and text into a base 64 and request a post and we have do the post request here we have do the post request send a post request to the api response http we have used the http dot post uri dot pass this is the process that we have phase data from the internet content type application dot json that is already specified here content type must be application json and here by this way json encoded here convert request playload to a json after we have post and it's convert our playload into a json then it's check if status code tends to 200 pass then pass the api response when you send the request to the api it responds with some data in the json format that we have convert request payload to the json and remaining are the format if response dot status course tends to 200 then it's parse the api key if there is any error then it's handle and it's off the loader and so the response this is the way that it display the response message this is just a simple process if you have tried then you can easily understand this is the functional part remaining all are the ui part this is the on app bar i'll just define the image chat app here in the body section i'll use the list view and first i'll display the image display section this section initially if peak image tends to null only show the container and the selected image select an image text inside this and if you have already select the image then show the select new image this is the logic after this here is the simple text field and inside this text field you will provide your prompt and in this generate answer button i will just call the generate response that we have created here inside this after this generate answer button I'll just say if if the response is waiting then show the circular progress indicator otherwise show the response that's it this is the format and structure and this is the way that i have written the code you can display it in your format in your way every time i'll just try to represent the code in easiest way shorter and the clean that make you understand easier now i have already select an image and i'll provide the prompt can you explain this image uh, if we have first we have provide the prompt and click on generate answer button during this time it will wait and show the loader after it's get the response it displayed high level view of omen in the long red dress and the remaining all are the description of this image let's let's import the new image and let's try something new i'll use this image and i'll prompt what is this and what is this and just generate an answer here is the description of the image it is a waterfall view of a waterfall by this way you can easily interact with this chat board a chat board and if you have unable to understand something like this i'll just import this image and what is the name of this image 
of this animal and if you ask this it's provide the answer i think this is the deer it's as far as my knowledge and what is this description yeah it is the deer and you can also do it if if there is the any place in the image just like this and if you are unable to find this which place is this you can ask this type of question you can interact this and i have already created another video where i where i have generated the image by the use of the prompt photograph show the tall bridge by the use of this gemini api key i have already created the chat app if you have time and if you have excited to learn something new then you can also watch this video as well and okay that's it for today's video we'll meet you in the next video okay bye, -bye.